English is the language of international communication. Having a good command of English helps us to have more opportunities in life. First of all, our career. It can help you meet your new people. It is the language of the internet. Traveling is a lot easier with a good knowledge of English. Moreover, with the help of English, you can study all over the world. Dear students, in my previous video, I have given you some basic options which you can use in your self-introduction. Let me recapitulate first of all those points. So, in my communication skill session 1, I discussed about greetings, introducing your name, location, position and qualifications. Now, let us move ahead and learn some new things which you can add while introducing dear students another point which you can add while introducing yourself is to talk about your experience or about your previous jobs then you can say i have so and so years of experience in the occupation field at at means you have to mention the name of the company or i have 10 years of sales experience or I have 10 years of experience in sales or you can also say that I have worked in accounting field for dash and dash years. So the next point which you can use for self-introduction is to discuss about your family. If you are in a situation where you may need to make friends or tell about your family, say these words say these sentences these are the normal sentences which you often use for example i have a brother i have a sister i have a mum and a dad but if you want to give a little bit more information then you need to show your communication skills in that students but one common mistake students make is when they are trying to talk about how large or small their family is Suppose if somebody asks you this question that tell me how many family members there are in your family. So then students often say we are five in our family. So this is an incorrect sentence. In place of this we should say I'm from a family of five or any number or you can say we are a family of four. If you want to talk about how many brothers or sisters you have, then you can say, I am one of four siblings. Now, why to use siblings? Because it does not specify any gender. Or you can say, I'm one of four or I'm an only child. Students, you might talk about your hobbies. So for that, you may use these phrases while introducing yourself. Like, I really like running. I really enjoy tennis. And this one is also most appropriate. You can say, I'm a big fan of, and then name the hobby. I'm a keen dash. It means you can say, I'm a keen runner. I'm a keen tennis player and so on. Point in your self introduction is to talk about your age. It's really isn't necessary anymore, but you must know how to say it. For example, you can say I'm 15 years old or just to shorten up, you can say I'm 15. Now, if you don't want to specify your age, then you can use these sentences. I'm in early, mid, late, and then you have to mention the decade. For example, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. Even you can use teens if you are really young. For example, she's in her early teens. I'm in my mid 20s. He's in his late 40s. 
students in this video i have given you lots of different options and i have given you basics for your self introduction so now we are left with short sentences and for this you need to watch it in my next video and you will be ready to introduce yourself either for any job interview or in front of the classroom or anywhere thank you so much have a nice day